Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. This is a special video. This is for um, the first responder community build hosted by Matchbox Mark. He put a shout out for people to build a first responder vehicle, police ambulance or fire engine for, uh, for the health services all around the world. So... I thought I'd kick in with this. Dinky Toys, Range Rover, Ambulance. Yep, they did make one. This is what we got. So I'm really proud to do this and pleased that Mark put a shout out for this. So let's get it off the turntable and we'll have a look at it. Right, here we go. We're off the stand. I've already pre-drilled the bottom of this because I like to get to the inside uh, to measure up. All right, Dinkies, Range Rover Ambulance. So what we're playing with this week. Uh, two rivets, one, two. So we'll get this apart then. Basically lifts the back off, not a problem. Plastic wheels. Solid plastic wheels, thin axles. Um, the doors, uh, you have to to get the interior out. I think you have to, I'm not sure, open the doors, I think. And then you might be able to, yeah, I think you've got to try and twist the doors out of here. Because there's a tag at the bottom. That got underneath there. So and if you try lifting it out you'd struggle so you've got to twist these doors out they're a little bit mucking about trying to get them out but they do come out so I'm trying to take too much of your time up while we're doing this I don't want to break them that's one out That's two out, and then it slides out from underneath the back there. Blue interior, a couple of doors. The bonnet, straightforward, just lifts out of that out of there. Look, bit of a twist. That's out. The bottom tower gate, as you can see, in there. Just a couple of lugs. Just pull that, twist that out. Uh, the glass. I've already pre-drilled the glass. Save a bit of time. Lift the glass out. Because the door, the top part of the door is held underneath there. And you can lift that out underneath there. So that's it. Stripped. It's got an engine in there. <coughs> and that's it, basically. Right, these were originally all white. With the uh, ambulance sticker on there. And on either door. Now, I haven't got any... Um, stickers specifically for this but I bought some generic set of stickers for ambulances they all come as a pack like this and I think I'll be using I can't remember which one I'm going to be using now uh, not sure which ones will fit first probably the black ones these two black ones there but anyway, we'll we do that with that later. So, got the glass. That's going in the brake fluid or the oven cleaner. Alongside this, get the old paint off. The wheels, because they're not rubber, they're plastic. They can go in the oven cleaner or brake fluid, depending. And them. And all these metal parts, they can go in the caustic. Caustic soda, tailgate, that lot. Uh, the base, I think I'm just going to clean that up because it's got no worry too much about it. There's a bit of paint on the front, but I'll clean that up. It looks to me like there's dual headlights in here. There isn't any in at the moment, but they're dished. And I imagine, I'll have to, look, I'll have to check on um, Google Images, but I think they've got dual headlights. But we can sort that out. That's not a problem. Right, the other thing is, with this, when you bought it new, 
in the box. It came with a stretcher in the back, which fitted in there. Okay. So what I've done, I've made one. All right. I've made a stretcher. I'll show you. Get my hand on it. There it is. There you go. I'll throw it in. There's a stretcher. I made this. Just a sheet of plastic card. A little pillow made out of a bit of a serviette folded and PVA'd. Uh, got some thin piping or thin rod and bent it to shape with a pair of pliers. Drilled holes. Pushed them through. Quite straightforward. All right. Uh, the original one that came with this, it got a little guy's head there and a blanket over. So I just decided, well, I'll play about a bit of blue tack. And I made old mate here, look. Old Frankenstein, look at his face. Look, <laughs> you know, I'm not an artist, I tell you, but look, he's, he's in pain. He's in real pain. Look, he's got no friggin' arms. Anyway, he goes on here, like that. And I'll put a blanket over him, yeah? Okay? So I need a bit of a laugh for you, look. Yeah. He's, he's a serious head injury, man. Yeah. So that's him. And he goes in there like that. That's the idea. All right. He sits in there like that. So that's why I had to take it apart to get the measurements to do this. It has to be. It's a bit wobbly. It's not really wobbly. It's just me. I'm trying to do it behind the camera. But, yeah, he fits in there all right. But you have to get a certain height to fit over that wheel arch there, you see. That's where he'll sit in there. All right. Okay. Now I'm messing about. Let's get on with it. So let's get stripping then. See you in a bit. That's it. All cleaned up. All shiny. Ready for the primer. So we're going to get that prime now. See how we get on. Right, here's all our parts, primed and painted, uh, lacquered, pretty just basic white really. I'm painting the blue light on there because I want to paint silver horns and stuff. I'm going to do the detailing next, that's what's going to be done next. I'm just going to paint the engine as it was, silver, the sirens, silver, bottom of the light, silver. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, the grill, get that painted, and that's it, I think, for the details, so yeah, we're all good to go, we're good to go, so next up will be detail painting, see you in a minute, right, let's get some details painted on this, uh, yeah, chrome across there, Matte black bumper. Okay, that's where you're going to start. I'm going to use the metal. I'm going to use this for the bumper. Model air. Black. So, let's get on. Like I said, I'm not going to do it all on camera because it take too long. But we'll get this on here. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> there we go. For those of you who haven't seen any of my videos, what I use for my chroming, well, bright work, I use Humbrol Metal Coat. I've had this for years. And I put it on top of a gloss coat. So it's already been glossed, so I find it goes on smoother. It's quite nice. Yeah, that's what I use. It's not too in your face. Because sometimes using a chrome pen is nice. But it can be too much in your face. 
So we just drill around these red lights. And it's quite a smooth paint, this actually. It goes on quite nicely. I've had some of my umbro paints, Ambro and Ambro's for ugh, over 20 years. Some of them. They're still good to go. Over 20 years. If not longer. Yeah, and I, uh, I got them all out of the box about three months ago. Because I was going to chuck them out. And I just checked through them all. I think I did throw out about half a dozen because they're completely dried up. But the majority of them um, brought back to to life with some white spirit, and they've been good to go ever since. Because back in the day, before airbrushes, we used to paint everything by hand. The old Airfix kits. Yeah, paint them all by hand. There you go. That's out a bit. Got jewel headlights going there, so all right, that'll do for that bit. Now the engine. Think he had this painted all silver. So we'll. Give it a coat. See what we go. Might want a couple of coats on there because it's bright white. Don't quite know what I'm going to do when this paint tub, this painting runs out. I don't know if you can still get this metal coat by Umbro. I don't know. I've got some other acrylics up there that I can use. But I really don't think I'll get anything as smooth as this. This is lovely. And you look, that's just nice and smooth. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this off camera because otherwise it's going to take ages. Uh, I'll catch you when it's uh, all chromed up. Okay, details are done in a minute. Okay, then, that's the details painted. Painted up the engine. There's a little bit of bling on it. Indicators. Got the stickers on, blue light, got the ambulance sticker on in reverse, number plates, black bumpers on there, silver grill, jeweled headlights, black bumpers and number plate, the doors, it was easy to put the stickers on the doors when they were off while they were on. Right, what I did have to do 
was that to replace the front window screen. If you see that clear plastic in there, I had to replace that because the original screen had a, two great cracks down it and it looked unsightly. So I thought, well, I had some thicker cards, so I glued it in there. I don't know if you can see that. I glued it in there. And I cut the cut it off the front of there where it belonged. So as you can see, that'll just get it in there. That'll just fit in there nicely and looks alright. Yeah, so no problem there. Right, so what we've got to do now is a final clean up. Finish my stretcher off with the man on and then uh, we can assemble it. So, I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's see if we can get this bad boy together. It's all a bit. Windscreen first. Because the back door's got to go in. Top, I should say, that way around. Hold that in. In there. Get the old super duper in. Put some of that in. To hold that in place. Oops. Put that in. Come on, boy. Push that down a minute or two. That will set that up then. That's nice. Get the bonnet in. Come on, there you go, bonnet in, there you go, Joe, there you go, Joe. Next with the interior. Make sure that's sitting right. Right, now the fun part, getting the flipping doors in. Now the fun part, getting the doors in, that's the wrong one. Oh, hang on, before I do that, I better get the, I better get this in. I better put this in. Because I think I might struggle to get it in. We don't put it in now. Right, let's try that. I think that holds that in. I think that's about right. Just checking that. Yeah. Holds that about right. See the front part of the interior catches the bonnet and the back part holds the tailgate in. So moving on. Getting the right door, the right side, right? Let's try and get these in without too much messing about. Because they're not easy to get in. It's a bit fiddly. About getting them in the right way around. Come on, baby. There we go, that's the first one. See what I mean? It's a bit tricky, isn't it? That's that one. 
Bring this one. So close. There you go. That's in. That's in. That's in. All right, that's both doors in. Then a hex sales. One. Two. Now this. There's two holes in here. There and there, they got lined up with their door pins, which, to be honest with you, is not that easy. To get it to sit right, and make sure the door's open. It's in at the back. Front. All right, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Fell apart. Try again. Try again. Check the front, yep. Okay, let's get some super glue on here then. Now bearing in mind, these are just blind rivets in here. Nothing special. Is really just basically for for show, really. Right. Okay, get back up. We'll leave that for a little minute or two to set up. There's your man. Looking pretty poorly, ain't he? Right. We'll leave that for a second or two, and then uh, next time we'll see it, it'll be on the old magic roundabout. Okay, see you in a minute. Just to remind ourselves what we started off with. Dinky Toys, Range Rover Ambulance. There we go. This is what we started with. Right, here we have it. All done and dusted. In its all new white paint. Detailed engine. Jeweled headlights. Black bumpers. There's old, poor old matey, who's had a right nasty one. 
He's had a right nasty one. Look, that's the interior at the back there. Opening doors. Yeah. yeah, that's a lovely job. I say so myself. Nice big dual red lights. See this one come in, wouldn't you? So that's it, really. So that's it. Well, thanks to Matchbox Mark for um, putting the community build on for this. It gives it meaning, this one. It gives it meaning. Okie doke, then. Okie doke. Let's have a... Let me shut the doors up. On the sides there. Whip the bonnet, stay out. Drop that down. And we'll come around. And we'll throw matey in the back. We'll lob him in from the back. He gets chucked in the back there. Here he goes. In he goes. And the doors should shut. Now he's in. He's away. There you go. All buttoned up. On his way to the hospital. Get fixed up. I've got to touch this up here. Got a little chip on the door there. I've got to touch that up. There we go, Nino, 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 woo, 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 off he goes. Right, that's it then. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy this one. I enjoy building it. It certainly made a difference of when it came to me, what it is now. There you go. Well, onwards and upwards, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next build. Bye for now. Do 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 do